Hello, my name is Nick, and I am the creator of the Tenor Saxophone Extended Technique Virtual Instrument Library, and this is a quick demo of what the product can do. So there are several different uh, raw sounds uh, in virtual instruments built into this library, and we're going to go through the most basic ones and just show you a couple of the raw sounds before they are processed, and then there are several processed sounds built into the library as well. Uh, so first one we're going to go through is the Extended Technique main library, which has a variety of tenor saxophone, well, saxophone extended techniques, uh, such as flutter tongue, uh, overtone splits, uh, various alternate fingering clusters, and uh, other things. So here we go. Uh, a couple of the raw sounds here. So some flutter tongue there. We'll turn that overtone split there so you can hear it trying to trying to go between the two octaves we have a nice altissimo fall there altissimo alternate fingerings main range alternate fingerings and then of course all the uh, a few different effects change their dynamic and their mood. So that's the main uh, variety of basic extended techniques. And then of course we have multiphonics, uh, which are uh, very, very interesting uh, in tonality. I recorded nine different fingerings of these and each one has a different character. And they're also adjustable with the mod wheel to go from passive to more of aggressive. These can add an extremely cool and very unnerving effect to your composition. There's multiphonics. Again, nine different sounds on that guy. Um, then I made, created a different virtual instrument for just the key closures, which is very cool. These are very percussive. It's just simply the sound of me closing the keys. And I recorded the chromatic range of the saxophone so that you can do various patterns percussively without it sounding like a machine gun. It's not just repitched. They are they are pitched, but um, again, can be used especially with effects as more of simple drums or percussion, and they're very very versatile. Uh, lots of cool stuff can be done with that. Then of course we have a couple of built-in processed sounds. Of course, um, everyone will hopefully add their own touch. But the Dusk Warhorn, for instance, is my personal favorite. <laughs> taking a split overtone and processing it. Very cool pitched sound. One of my favorites. Uh, we have Hornets, which is uh, the uh, rapid alternate fingering clusters uh, that's been processed. Adding a couple of the, uh, the built-in scripting buttons that I put in makes this sound really cool, almost like the lighthouse sound from the trailer of the lighthouse movie that came out recently. Add some reverb on that and you'd be set. Uh, and then, uh, of course, sexual tension. Uh, sounds uh, very moody. That's a very much pitched down um, split overtone as well, I believe, but with a totally different feel. And that's just a just a selection of of what's included in the library. Uh, of course, all these are just callbacks to the built-in effects that are in contact. So you know, if you wanted to adjust anything about that particular amp that is activated in the scripts, it's right there. Okay, uh, that was just a quick overview. Um, feel free to check this out, nicktoretta.com, two R's and two T's in Toretta, and uh, you know, give it, a, give it a listen, see if it's something that, um, that is, is desirable, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.